Hello everyone. You are listening to this audiobook on channel Voice of Purpose by NSS IIT Bombay. Biography of Kuli Kohli. Kuli Kohli is an Indian British writer, poet, social activist and a council worker of Punjabi descent who is well known for her literary works. Born in a remote village of Uttar Pradesh in 1970, Kuli faced a lot of hate and humiliation. as she was born with cerebral palsy a neurological condition that affected her speech movement and posture coordination and balance she was born as the eldest child in her family but her birth was considered as a curse by the villagers because of her medical condition they were unable to understand her disabilities and considered her condition to be a result of her sins she did in her previous life a few villagers argued that she should be thrown into the river and left to drown kuli was almost thrown into the river until her father intervened physically to save her life he physically had to intervene to stop her body from being taken from home and discarded like an object along with her family she migrated to the united kingdom in 1973 when she was just 2 and 1/2 years old she joined the pen hall special school at the age of 3 Even there she faced humiliation as she was referred to by her schoolmates as handicapped. Kohli left her school at the age of 16 after failing to obtain the required grades in most of her examinations. After she had completed school, Kuli's family attempted to arrange a marriage for her. Their attempts were however unsuccessful. She'd heard people say that no man would ever want her. and those hurtful words echoed through her mind all her life she longed to share her feelings and thoughts all the injustice she had been facing since her childhood long before she even started publishing her work kuli had been putting her thoughts into writing for a long time she wrote about what life had been like for her with the idea that maybe one day someone would read it she wanted people to know what it was like for an asian woman with cerebral palsy after her marriage she became a council worker in wolverhampton there she got a chance to reveal her works to simon fletcher a literate development officer at the wolverhampton library simon was impressed by the amount of raw emotion in her poems and encouraged her to pursue her career as a poet Simon mentored her for her poetry works and Kuli Kohli wrote poetry titled Patchwork which was published in 2016 by Ofas Press. She released a collection of her poetry titled The Rag Doll in 2013 and was published in 2014. She revealed that she was inspired to write a poem titled The Rag Doll as she used to have a big rag doll during her childhood. She established the Punjabi Women's Writing Group in the Black Country to empower Punjabi women in Wolverhampton, UK. She assists Black and Hall Writers Group and writes blog posts as a regular contributor for Disability Arts Online. In 2017, she gave her first live performance on stage about her work I Have a Dream, a 15-minute set of poetry. Kuli has her own website www.kulikohli.co.uk in which she issues all the latest updates about her work. She once mentioned that writing has opened up all the possibilities for her as she struggled to express herself because of her disability. She wrote for pressure as well as relief. She feels that poetry has made her powerful. She may not have been able body but she was of an able mind. Not many people can do what she has managed to achieve in her life. She never let her disability get the best of her and shared her talent with the world. Her life story was featured on BBC News homepage on 29th August 2020 titled They wanted to drown me at birth now I'm a poet. Her life story is an inspiration for everyone who ever faced disabilities in their lives. It takes a lot of courage to face the world and pursue one's dream. 
She was able to overcome every obstacle life threw at her and managed to come out on top. She is a great woman and even a better poet. Her life story is a lesson for us all. So hope you guys had fun. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more interesting audiobooks.